Hello everybody, I'm Garrett and these are mobile game reviews from internet portal mob.org. Let's begin. In today's review we have a game based on a film. We haven't had one of those games for quite a while, have we? The film itself is not an independent creation and is the screen version of a book. So meet The Mortal Instruments. I gotta say that I haven't seen the movie. I think that not even the heroes of Twilight don't look half as wimpy as these guys. That's why my knowledge about this movie can go no farther than the trailer. Nevertheless, let's talk about the plot a little. In short, there are some sorts of demons and sorcerers and other stuff in the world around us, but we can't see them. So, there are also shadow hunters. Even here we have a hint at Twilight, who beat on the rabble. They are something like descendants of angels or some such. Well, in short, they're not exactly people. And now let's proceed to the game. It was released a little earlier than the movie itself, and is little more than just an ad, but not exactly a game. You can upgrade the skills of your character such as health, power, and so on, and buy first aid kits, which will help you not die in battle, and several kinds of potions. By the way, there are several heroes in the game, and you can choose any you like. Once you press play, you get to the level selection menu, which is represented by a map with locations being unlocked one by one with the game progress. There are dialogues at the beginning of each level that explain what's going on and then the battle begins. What's the essence of gameplay? There's a location with the mobs spawning at it in waves. Mobs attack the hero and you need to kill them. Obviously, the number of mobs increases with each wave. All sorts of stronger creatures also come out. The control itself is based on taps. The location is kind of like a chessboard, but with circles instead of squares. When you tap an empty circle, you make the hero run there. Tap at the circle with someone in it, and it means you're going to attack them. The pain in the butt thing is that you have to tap the area under the enemy's feet, but not the monster himself to attack. I keep forgetting about that all the time, missing the mark and running into the crowd instead of making an attack. It would be more logical and more convenient to tap at the enemy body to attack him. You can also use your abilities in battle, and, well, that's it. The gameplay comes down to nothing more than that. You'll have to beat off waves of mobs, tap at nothing but green circles, and run away to not let them surround you. And once more, nothing more happens here. Let's proceed to the outcome. The game is an example of a game based on a film, and is practically nothing as an independent product. Monotonous gameplay seems to hint at the fact that everything was made in extremely limited time, and there was no room for fantasy. In short, it's a simple movie advertisement, but those who like the film may like the game. That's all for today. If you liked it, then subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and share the video with your friends. This was Garrett and Reviews from Mob.org. See you soon.